Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the last video that I reviewed these guitars and all this sort of stuff. This video is all about Plectrum's guitar picks. So I got sent this product. You won't be able to see it because it's a light. Luna Aurora Plectrums. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right. If not, I do apologise, but I will put it the artwork thing up here somewhere. So I've got five picks to show you, which I'll put pictures of up and I'll circle the one that's I'm showing and stuff just so you can see it clearer. So yeah, let's get to it. <laughs> Okay, so the plectrums that I would usually use when I'm playing like my acoustic stuff live, I would use these really thin picks. These are actually 50 millimeters, 0.50, really thin, good for playing. And then usually recording, I would go with whatever I fancy doing. If I want more strokes, all the Dunlops, yeah, these are all the Dunlops. So we got. 0.60, 0.73, and 0.88. Depends on what I'm doing in a song, recording wise, I usually end up going with these. I have tried other plectrums. I got these weird bone material ones, which are okay, but they just it just didn't work out for me. Even tried some wooden ones. For all sorts of different things but for guitar I always end up coming back to my Jazz 3's which I'll put the picture up there so you can see it with the Jazz 3's I always ended up going back to these because I always felt comfortable when I was thrashing and palm muting and all sorts of things and sometimes I like go for the bigger Jazz 3 so those have been my go-to since I first started playing guitar for heavier projects and acoustic has always been the softer stuff, the softer, thin picks. So if I'm playing unplugged, I can project my voice a bit louder than the uh, the acoustic. Um, for bass picks, for bass, I always end up going back to my Jazz Free. For some weird reason, always back to my Jazz Free. But I've got all these Dunlop plectrums that I've tried out for different tones or strikes all that shit i'm not i don't do the tech side of things but each pick actually does have a different tone weirdly enough but we're not here to talk about these but just for you know i'll show you what sort of plectrums i use but it's always gone back to the jazz jazz threes that always been my go-to picks so thanks to dale he purchased one called the Joker which I'll put a picture up fitting because my guitar is called Joker and I tried it out and it it felt amazing the material feels amazing and it's got this little dip that I love that you actually put your, you can put your finger in and just place it there it's, it's supposed to be for more grip and stuff and they do feel more grippy so not that I usually drop my picks when I'm playing That's odd occasion that happens but I also got we call it the mental health plectrums that's what they called it in you know I sent them a couple of t-shirts that they liked and they sent me this yeah these picks they're very nice there's one that's now discontinued that won't get made which is the red one I absolutely love the look of this one it, and it's got kind of a rough feel to it so you know i don't think there's a dip really there's not really a dip but that is lovely we've got this the new joker one which is still green and purple and this one has more of a jazz my jazz feel to it it's got kind of that size we've got this leopard print one that tail picked all the all the material that um 
Mark uses is offcuts for certain things. I'm not going to say because I don't know if that's my place to say, but it's offcuts. So each material he cuts, which are hand made, these are hand cut, not laser cut or stamp cut thing. These are all hand made, um, apart from like the sanding, obviously, um, which is like a machine, I think. But they're all hand, so that each and every single plectrum is actually unique. So, which is awesome. And then a bright pink base pick. The leopard print one is a polyester. So I got told it will wear down quicker. Um, but has like a different sound. And then the bright pink one and the Joker 2 is made by a Kirinite. Sounds like Superman's kryptonite. Uh, so it will last longer and the tones are different as I've been told so here we are so I've got the bright pink base pick it's huge yes that's what she said yeah it's, it feels nice Still getting used to holding it the way it's supposed to be. Um, but yeah. But yeah. It's very nice. Very nice indeed. Oh, oh. Okay, so we've got, obviously, the last video, I played the Joker one already, which um, was quite nice. spoke about it I think but it's still quite nice I'm gonna put this you get a tin you can get tins for these picks picks ah. okay so we got I'm gonna use the leopard print one first because I think hello jinx um because I think the leopard print one's quite funny in a good way though it's yeah Stormtrooper, I think this one was called. I could be wrong, but yeah, this is the last one, so I'm very fortunate to have that. So we got the Joker 2, I think it was, Joker 2.
So all in all, these picks are actually quite good. Um, they feel great. They certainly look great. I wouldn't recommend playing them live if you cherish picks. Uh, if you're afraid to lose them, if you're the sort of person that would drop them. Um, so I wouldn't personally play them live it's very cool actually because they link up the little gap you can link them up somehow obviously the basic pig ain't going there uh! um, so for me these would be just the studio picks and yeah hopefully in the future when I do some more production I can uh, I can see the thickness difference now with these that's what she said a uh, different thickness. That's probably why I got. I was used to the Stormtrooper one, the red one, because um, I'm used to more thinner picks, thicker ones. I'm, you know, I still get used to. But hopefully, I will get used to these, and I will be purchasing some more, purchasing some more picks just because the colours and the unique look on them I actually really like. So I might start getting some of these bad boys oh ah. so all in all they're great picks I highly recommend you go and check them out even if you want to buy it for a friend or or anything like that I recommend you go and check them out and support local business Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed a strange video just about picks. But, um, I certainly like them. I think they're great. And uh, I appreciate being bought and giving them to test out to show you guys. So, until the next video. Oh, bye bye. Uh-uh.